Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I really wanted a TIG welder. I've been borrowing friends for a couple of different years and different projects and finally I decided, you know what, I'm gonna buy one and what better way to do it than to buy the cheapest TIG that I could find on Amazon. That's an ACDC and it's this one. It's called a Hitbox, which I definitely know what I'll be calling it if it doesn't work well. And the model is HBT 250P uh, because I don't like how some of these videos go through all kinds of different tests before they tell you if the welder is good or not I will tell you right now from the 20 minutes I've used this this welder is very good and I am very impressed so I paid $470 Canadian which is $350 US for this welder so it's very cheap now there are accessories that you need to get with it and I'll go through those right now. First off we start with the pedal. Uh, you don't have to buy the pedal but there's no point of TIG welding without a pedal. This is $100 Canadian or $74 US. I also bought this uh, Art Captain TIG welding torch accessory kit for $60 Canadian or $45 US. Comes with a bunch of different Pyrex cups, collets and you know different parts in here there's o-rings there's freaking uh, a whole bunch of different size little cups which is awesome to have uh, you also get stubby a medium and a long end which i will show you those in about two seconds i'll show you why i bought this so look at the torch here quickly this is the pyrex cup the diffuser inside you can see that comes with that r captain kit it's not very good it doesn't fit in there but it seems to be working the nice thing about this is when you're tig welding down you can see through the cup this is also pretty big, it's a number 12, uh, so you can stick the tungsten out a decent amount when you're using this and get a good result. Now just for reference, the welder does come with a couple 330 seconds collets, it comes with an end, it actually has a stubby in there, which I didn't even know it came with. A couple small cups, you've got like up to a number 6, which for what I do is pretty much useless. So uh, yeah, I mean it does come with this stuff, so maybe you want to use Another thing you will need is tungsten electrodes. Again, the kit that the welder itself comes with two tungsten electrodes. I just bought a pack. These things are like 30 bucks Canadian. So however much US that is, they're 2% lathinated. But these work good on aluminum and stainless, which is pretty much all I use it for. Other things you will need if you buy the welder. A cart is nice to have. I bought this guy here off of Amazon in the same order. That was $100 Canadian, $74 US. You will need a welding mask. I probably should get a new welding mask because this one is not very easy to see through anymore. You will also need a argon gas regulator. I got a dual regulator, so this side feeds the welder. This side is for back purging. If you want to back purge stainless steel parts, which I will not get into right now, but if you want to make your stainless stuff really, really, really pretty, really smooth on the inside, you get a dual regulator. And of course, you will need a bottle. This is my old bottle. I just filled it up with pure argon for this. Okay, so altogether, this setup, not including the bottle and the gas, uh, is $825 Canadian or $600 US. You can't even buy a Miller pedal for that. So let me just take you briefly through a couple of the features of the welder, show you some welds, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this, on what I like and what I don't like. Okay, so this is the main control panel. Uh, essentially, there are a number of different settings on here. Uh, you can actually stick weld with this if you switch it to MMA. I will never stick weld. I'm not even going to try it. I don't care. I only use TIG. <clears throat> you can switch it here, AC or DC. This next feature right uh, there is to pulse it at a low frequency or a high frequency. And then this 2T, 4T is for a two-touch, four-touch. Essentially what you can do, if you click the button on the stinger, you can start it, you can make it just start welding when you press it once and stop when you press again. Uh, or you can just use it momentarily. Again, I don't ever use the trigger. This welder does have this function in it, which is really good for tacking. If you're upside down tacking a roll cage, you just use the, you can use to use the button to activate the welder at full amperage, which may be useful to some people. I don't really use that feature. Obviously in here, there are your usual suspects. Uh, so you can change the pre-flow of the weld, which is really cool. So when you press the pedal, it'll spray gas out for 
just you know half a second or whatever you want uh, so that there is gas in the area before you start the arc so you don't get a big black spot there's a there's slope you can change pulse frequencies you can change um, AC balance a whole bunch of stuff all these different settings I'm not sure if any of you really care about but from my experience with TIG welding and you know the 20 minutes I've used this thing it's got every feature that I could want in a TIG welder so far uh, so I think that in general this is yeah it, it's got enough features I think is a consensus Okay, so here's just a quick review of those welds I made. Uh, this was a piece of 1 8 inch thick aluminum. Uh, yeah, there's one, two, three. That one I butchered. I dipped the tungsten. I had to go and grind it. Uh, but in general, this welds aluminum just as good as the $4,000 Lincoln TIG that I was using. I can't comment on duty cycle. I don't know if you could do this for hours at a time. I'm going to suspect that you cannot. But if you're doing things like welding charge pipes, you just want to uh, make some nice, pretty aluminum welds. I'm super impressed with this thing. The arc start was really smooth and really nice. And yeah, I really, I don't have any complaints about the welder itself. And here is my stainless weld. You can see I cooked it. Stayed in one spot for a little too long. My travel speed wasn't good. Um, but yeah, that was like 60 amps, I believe. And I was just, moving like an old man but uh i don't know worked out pretty good don't mind that spot that's when i turned the welder off i just wanted to check something but yeah i mean again stainless wise at this point seems just as good as the five thousand dollar welder that i was using to do my other work okay so my general first impression of this is very impressive uh but i figured i should give you guys a list of things that i do not like about the welder which is very small uh, and they were culprits that I knew about through reading through reviews. First off, this pedal for $100 is not good. Um, it's too narrow. I have a big foot and it's got this lip at the back. So my foot doesn't really work on this. It's usable, but I mean, it's a $100 pedal. It's, it's not very good, but it'll work. It seems to modulate the power fine. It reacts quickly. One thing I really, really hate about it though, is that to set the amperage, you need to hold the pedal down and spin this knob. So if you buy a fancy welder, usually you just turn this knob here and you set the amperage on the screen. And when you press the pedal down, the pedal will vary between zero amps without pressing it and whatever, you know, say you set it a hundred, whatever it's on the screen. With this welder to set the maximum amperage, you need to hold this pedal down and then look up there and then adjust the knob and then hold the pedal down and look up there again. So not ideal, but again, this welder is so cheap that I can easily overlook that problem. But yeah, this pedal sucks. Hopefully there's a better one I can buy. And I would say my only other complaint here is ground clamp length. This is not very long. I would say this is five feet. So it'd be nice to have more length to that because that means that the welder needs to be within five feet of where you are. One thing about the ground clamp length that doesn't make sense is the torch length is so long. The torch length is perfectly good. Uh, I have zero complaints about the torch length. But yeah, that ground clamp, it would be a lot nicer if it was longer. So, I mean, you can go out to the store 
and you can buy a longer welding clamp with this fitting on it um, but just know this is yeah I mean it's short it'll work uh, elsewise yeah probably the only big issue with this uh, the clamp itself is pretty good it's super strong and yeah I mean it seems to work well so get a longer one if you want elsewise I don't really see any other major issues with this welder okay so obviously I will keep you guys updated on if I have any issues with this the longevity of it and I really just wanted to make this video because I didn't see anything out there on this welder but I have to say all in all like as of right now if, if I was to rate this welder out of 10 just based on my short experience with it for the type of stuff I do I'm a hobbyist this has got to be at least a 7 or an 8 out of 10 like the weld quality is better or as good or better than I got out of uh, the fancy welders I was using um, the pedal isn't great the torch length is really good ground cable length is not very good uh, elsewise I I don't know I'm, I'm super impressed I don't even understand how they can make a welder this good for this cheap uh, so maybe it comes down to longevity I'll keep you guys updated on how long it lasts if I have any issues with it but I'm gonna be using this thing all the time and uh, for starters I have to say I'm definitely super impressed if you're looking for an ACDC TIG and you don't want to spend very much money holy cow get these things before the price goes up five times uh, because it probably will and just one more thing if you guys are watching this to the end this is obviously uh, not something that has been sponsored no one paid me to do this no one gave me a deal on the welder I just bought it off of Amazon um, so just so you know it's it's a legitimate review uh, I just like I say I didn't see much on these so I figured I would make a little video on it and hopefully you guys enjoy it as always thanks for checking out the channel we were very excited to get to use this guy in some upcoming videos uh, building some different things thanks for checking it out guys and we'll see you on the next one